Hey guys, I want to take a few minutes to show you a little test train that I would run around uh, when I was still laying the track in order to test out my switches and track alignment to make sure everything was good. And if I could run this train a couple times through all the tracks uh, without any derailments or problems, then I went ahead and figured it was pretty good. And so, if you want to assemble something like this, you go ahead and put some very lightweight cars and some different length cars together and then back them through your switches and track work to see how nice and smooth they are. So on this train I've got three uh, empty well cars that are very lightweight Then I've got a small cut of short wheelbase cars together and then I've got a long wheelbase car in between short wheelbase cars short wheelbase car in between two long wheelbase cars the 89 foot flats and then a cut of just 89 foot flats and then I find that derailments uh, show up more often when cars are being pushed rather than pulled and so that's what I would do with this train is actually just push it through the yard and through all my switches so that uh, I could identify things that were out of alignment uh, before I finalized the track One thing when you're laying track and testing it out to realize is that uh, problems will only get worse as you add scenery, ballast, and the layout uh, gets older uh, and is run on more often. Uh, this is one of the things where your, your layout doesn't run better with age, it actually runs worse. So you need the track work to start out uh, as flawless or as close to flawless as you can get. Uh, you don't want to uh, have any uh, little hiccups or picks or derailments or anything when you're uh, initially laying your track and testing it because they're only going to get worse and you can take a, an entirely nice layout and turn it into one that's not fun to operate on uh, if the trains derail all the time. So you want to take the time, lay your track right and uh, test out uh, every switch and every piece of track multiple times uh, as you lay it. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, useful and you can use a technique like this to go ahead and make sure you've got nice smooth track work uh, on your own layout. And that's all for today. Just keep enjoying the trains, keep running them, and we'll catch you at the next update.